Where have I been? Where have I been? Uh, um, it's been a while. How y'all been? New and good? But anyways, it really has been a while since I last made a video. No, it really has been a while since I made a video. Ignore that. Don't look at that. Right. It really has been a while since I made a video. And I just wanted to share. Um, that sub stack that I created where I share my writing. I want to check it out. That'd be nice. That'd be cool. But anyways, um, I wrote this one article last summer when I was 22. When I was 22 turning 23 about 22 things I learned while being 22 and now since I'm turning 24 soon I feel like a lot of it still holds up and I really just wanted to share that all right I fixed the lighting as best I could tried my best here okay anyways let's get into it so this is my 22 things I learned while being 22. Let's get into it. Number one, life is too short not to have fun here. And it's like, it really is. It's like, just buy it. Cut it. Do whatever you want with it. It's just hair. It'll grow back. The color will fade. Like, it's just hair. Do whatever you want with it. Two, be nice to your pets. They're only here for a short time in our lives, but to them, we're their whole life. And it's like, just be nice to your pets. Cherish the little moments. Like, yeah, they can be annoying. Yeah, they can mess shit up, be messy, make a mess. But it's like, they're only here for such a short time. You know, just be nice to your pets. Three, you don't owe anyone anything, but at the same time, nobody owes you anything. It's like, I'm a big believer and like, I don't owe anyone shit. I don't owe them an apology unless I truly did something very horrible. Then yes, I'll apologize. But it's like, I don't owe anyone an apology. I don't owe anyone an explanation. I don't owe anyone closure. But at the same time, it's like, nobody owes me that either. I can't expect that from someone because they can't expect that from me. So it works both ways. I don't know. I'm just a big believer in that. This planted a clip in my hair. I don't know. It was annoying me. It was annoying me. So, let's get back to this. Number four. Everyone is just a tall child who still gets scared sometimes and just wants someone to tell them that it'll be okay. And it's like, we really are just tall children maneuvering through life, still learning, still growing. And it's like, we just want someone to tell us at the end of the day that it's going to be okay, that everything will work out. And it's just, Misky really popped off with that one lyric, um, which he said, And I was so young when I behaved 25, yet now I find I've grown into a tall child. But first of all, pop off. But um, yeah, that really hit home. It's like, we really are just tall children. Five. You gotta cry it out from time to time. Or else you'll get sick. And it's like, you can't keep that shit bottled up. Like, you really gotta cry it out. Journal it out. Talk to someone. Because, or else it's gonna be like a volcano. And the end result is just gonna be messy and gross and bad. And nobody wants to deal with that. Especially not you. So it's like, let it out. Cry it out. Six. Taylor Swift was right. You can be happy, creepy, confused, and lonely at the same time. So we popped off with that lyric. Seven. Make your room feel like a home, even if it's only for a short time. And it's like, because at the end of the day, you come to your room, you spend most of your time in your room. And it's like, you really just want to make it feel like a home. You want to make it somewhere you want to be or else you'll be miserable. Like, even if you're not here forever, like this room is temporary. But I still, I put my shit up, I put my posters up, I put my decorations up. Because, like, I want to make it feel like a home. You want to make it an enjoyable space while you're here. You know, bring that positive energy in. Eight. Not everyone has gone through the same circumstances as you. Progress is still progress, no matter how long it takes. 
this one's really important to me because like I never got to have a normal college experience um I had a lot of family shit going on not good stuff and that just kind of got in the way and I was like doing bad at college <laughs> but um at the end of the day like it doesn't matter when you graduate it's just all that matters is that you graduated and progress is still progress at the end of the day nine trust your gut most of the time it's right if something doesn't feel right leave I say this all the time gut feelings are guardian angels it's like you when something is wrong your gut will tell you you'll feel it in your bones you're like something isn't right you're like something isn't right and nine times out of ten is usually right and you should just follow your gut because your gut's just looking out for you gut feelings are guardian angels that's switching up how I'm sitting oh no I feel like the lighting is just so bad I my best here <laughs> but um no this lighting is fucking horrible number 10 you don't have to forgive or forget it's okay to say I don't accept your apology I hate I always hated that when people told me forgive and forget life's too short to be angry at someone it's like no like you hurt me you made me feel really shitty why why should I forgive you Forgive and forget, now remember and hate. It's like, you don't have to forgive, okay? If someone really hurts you, you really don't have to forgive them, you know? Like, they did something really shitty to you, and it's like, you just, you don't have to accept their apology. It's okay to say, I don't accept your apology. My hair just cannot be, my hair is just annoying today. Oh, it looks good, but it's being annoying. Number 11. You're not the same person you were six months ago. Like, whether you've matured and grown, or whether you've gone through deaths and rebirths, you really aren't the same person you were six months ago. And it's like, I tell people this all the time because I really feel like it impacted me. But November 2021, I really feel like I died. And then I was reborn in the spring. Like, I really felt like I went through something and came out an entirely different person. Like, I paid my cosmic debt. Karma got me real good. It was not a fun time. And it's like, I paid off my cosmic debt. And now I'm hearing about all these people who have done me wrong. I'm hearing about their karma. And it's like, karma will come for you. Karma always comes for you. And it's like, I don't know, at the end of the day, it's like, you really aren't the same person you were six months ago. You're always changing, you're always growing, you're always maturing. It's like, you're always going through rebirths. Take from that what you will. Number 12. Don't cringe at past phases you went through. You were just really passionate about those things, and that's cool. Like, I look back at past phases I went through, like when I was 12, and I was obsessed with One Direction. Like, I really thought I was going to marry Harry Styles. I was just obsessed with them. And it's like, yes, was it kind of embarrassing? Yeah, but it's also like, I don't know. You're just really passionate about that. And you were just expressing how passionate you were. And that's cool, you know? Or like, when I was 15, and I was obsessed with my chemical romance and Pierce the Veil. Not Pierce the Veil. Still am. But, um, and I'd wear band t-shirts and those little band bracelets and my black skinny jeans like all the time. It's like, yeah, I look back and I'm like, that was not the best fashion choice. But it's like, but it's like, I don't know. I was just really passionate about that shit. And I was just expressing it. It's like, there's nothing wrong with that. Don't cringe at your past selves, okay? You were just really passionate about whatever you were into. Alright? Go easy on your past selves. 13. Be nice to your little brother. Yeah, they can be annoying. But they're your little brother. Be nice. 14. Nothing matters. And everything matters. Take from that what you will. 15. Whether you like her or not, Taylor Swift does have a song for everything. Trust me on that. 16. Never go to bed with your mirrors facing you. That's how your house gets haunted, and that's how you get ghosts. That's one of the ways you get ghosts. And it's like, 
it'd be open in portals okay so just trust me on that don't go to bed with your mirrors facing you okay this shit all right 17 you're always gonna be the bad guy in someone's story it's like could be something major like you had a fallen out with someone and they're doing what they can to make themselves sound good and you sound like the villain or it could be something little as like you cut someone off in traffic and you're just the asshole like you're always gonna be the bad guy in someone's story you just take it with a grain of salt 18. you might have dreams of screaming at them but nothing you say will ever be as worse as them having to wake up and be themselves i'm just gonna leave that there 19. i did the whole pretentious shit enjoying stuff is more fun when i was in high school i did the whole i'm cooler because i watch indie french movies it's like girl enjoy stuff that was not fun watch fun movies read fun books listen to fun music who cares what people think just have fun 20. Having access to you is a privilege that not everyone deserves. I really believe that. It's like having access to you is a is a privilege. Not everyone deserves to know what's going on in your life. And it's like it really is just having access to you is a privilege. 21. Tell your mom you're sorry. She was a girl once too. 22. Summer evenings are magical. Y'all can be summer haters all you want. I love the summertime. I love sitting outside in the evening and letting my hair dry in the summer air. I love summer sunsets. I love summertime in general. It's just, it's a beautiful time. All right, all right. That is my 22 things I learned while being 22. And I hope y'all take something from this. It's okay if you don't, but. It'd be cool if you did. Anyways, that was the video.